Oh, I we're back with some more Pikmin 2, everybody. It's your boy Bushkin here. And we're going to be doing the area known as the Awakening Wood in Pikmin 2. This is actually, uh, uh if you notice, if you haven't noticed by just the, that area uh, left, this is actually the, um, Forest of Hope from the first game, except, uh, changed. It's changed a lot, but a lot of things are still the same, like the burrowing, like where you fight the burrowing snagrits. That's the same. Anyways, there's a beautiful thing you can do with purples. And that beautiful thing is that they're really overpowered. I love overpowered things so much in games, especially in RNG, I mean, an RTS game like Pikmin. Anyways, as you can see, they absolutely dominate. They absolutely dominate anything they hit. They are extremely useful. Anyways, we need all 20 of our purples today anyways. There's instantly going to be some sheer grubs. They're going to be easy to decimate. I don't know why it tells me that I can disband them with B right here. Yeah, you also notice that uh, that stuff over there uh, doesn't take as long, I guess you could say. Or uh, not take as long, but it doesn't lift as many Pikmin. That's actually a uh, intended design mechanic. Anyways, we can get the strawberry from up here. Now we just grab some of these. Yeah, if you're wondering uh, about some stuff, I think a lot of people might know me from the TX staff. Uh, if you're wondering what's been going on over there, a lot of chaos, just a lot of dumb stuff. I want to talk about it, but I also don't because I just don't want to talk about it right now. The dude who's causing it keeps on doing what he's doing. I'll definitely make a video about him because I don't like the kind of people who do the stuff that he's doing. And, well, this is YouTube. I get the right to an opinion. Yeah, anyway, so, yep, Nectar's in this game, too. Nectar got brought into this game. Yep, paying off already 1,000 coins, as you can tell. You pay off the debt really fast in this game. Yep, all right. It was 95 reds right now. We got a few flowers in our group. We want to get some more flowers. Yeah, Nectar in this game is much easier to get than uh, Nectar in the previous game. Alright, I think that's all of our Pikmin flower. Yes, it is. Well, flower purples are much faster. They're about the same speed as a budded red. So, although not extremely fast, they're definitely going to be faster. And that's good. Because we need sped. 
need those speds. Extreme speds re reached. Anyways, where is it? All right, we got him. We got him, boys. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we kind of actually do, I just realized we do actually have max Pikmin out right now, because there are five already Pikmin out, because uh, if you didn't know this yet, the onions of the other areas are out here, other onion types. And their Pikmin types are out, so that's why. Anyways, we're going to do some stuff. We're going to have Spikmin go on that. We're going to have Spikmin go on that. Now some Pikmin attack this wall. And we're going to have some Pikmin carry these. And we're going to want them to carry those. The rotation in for this thing is like garbage. All right, and then once we get all 10 pieces, we get the goop. This is the ultra spicy spray. And this is actually a very useful item. So that is going to allow us to uh, spray some of our Pikmin and give them some special effects and all of that. Anyway, speed up time. Anyways, taking the 20 purples, we're going to go on a rampage, because now they're flowered. And flowered purples, you just don't want to mess with them, bro. Like, look at that. Now over here, we can actually break this. We're not going to go over there, but we are going to knock it down. We just want to walk up to that, and then we want to run away, because that is actually an enemy. This is actually apparently an enemy that is really similar to uh, Pikmin. I don't know how it's similar to Pikmin, because it's a monstrosity, it's a hell on earth. Somehow that thing is similar to Pikmin. And also, as you can see, they de-leafed de a few Pikmin. The Pikmin didn't get stunned by it. The, it didn't stun the stuff, so the Pikmin didn't uh, really get uh, the effects or whatever you want to say. Anyways, uh, as you notice when we go up to this, there's some purple, there's some weird stuff around it. That's actually because uh, this requires um, white Pikmin in order to get across. You need white Pikmin in order to get over there. Ah, oh, shit, I just said white Pikmin, never mind. Eh, it doesn't matter. You guys are going to find out the other type of Pikmin anyways. Or you probably have seen another Pikmin video. But yeah, that requires, uh, those are poison effects. And, uh, white Pikmin are immune to poison. I think I said once before in Pikmin 1 that there were white Pikmin, so I guess it's fine to say it. Mm. 
All right. Well, he's taking all of our Pikmin. We go into this cave. Now, typically, you would need to use this cave to get uh, the other 10 purples because that one required 200 Pikmin, and you would typically only get 10 from the Emergence cave. But if you get 10 from the emer, but if you get the uh, if you go just go back into the Emergence cave after going in through it once, you'll uh, be able to completely skip this dungeon. But I'm not going to do that because this dungeon actually has uh, some stuff in it that you want. The well, one big thing that you want in it. The whole of beasts is the first. Whole of beasts. Each one has sub levels. I think this one has about six. Oh, yep. I remember what this one has. We want to take our reds out, and we just want to run them around because. Because, yeah, you just want to do that. Well, as also you're able to actually, if you haven't noticed, you're actually able to kill sheer grubs while they're eating your Pikmin. Which is a really nice uh, thing that they did. Because I personally really hated it when my Pikmin were eaten by sheer grubs. Now, female sheer grubs still uh, aren't, won't kill your Pikmin. Female ones won't. Uh, now the male ones will, sadly. Yeah, since we have all flowered, well, other than those few purples that got hit before, we get to do a lot. And then we get the thing, one of the things here, one of the treasures, a D-pad. Its name is the Stone of Glory. I don't know if they don't know, but that's not a stone. Wait, is that deactivating sound? It means all the treasures in this floor were cleaned. So now it tells you to frick off. Frick off, you little children. Nom nom nom. Alright, next save, this would be the one where you would find uh, the uh, white with the uh, purple things on it. But since we don't have any of those, this cave is really empty. The only things it really has are these eggs. Alright, I thought it was going to contain uh, that really, this, there's a really annoying thing that can come out of eggs. Uh, other than nectar, I think it's called like a hermitite. And uh, they scare all your Pikmin other than purples, and you have to use purples to uh, kill them. Very irritating, and I'm kind of glad that they aren't in this game. It was after doing this uh, free level, there's no treasure in this sub level, so don't try and go for it. Hold up a moment, I'll be right back in a moment, I gotta... Oh yeah, I forgot. In this floor we have uh, 
fire hazards. And I think you remember red Pikmin are immune to fire. Now in this game you can actually break the fire geysers. So that's a very nice thing that you can do in this game that you can't do in the others. It's also just very satisfying to break all the fire geysers. I don't know about you guys when I say that, but it's just really satisfying. Anyways, they're going to surround that floppy disk. And there we go. Name, Strife, Monolith. If I'm not mistaken, there's actually uh, something else on this. Wait, never mind. No, there isn't. Anyways, that's going to bring go back there pretty soon, so I'm going to... Yep, there we go. 230 Cosmic R Drive floppy disks. Floppy disks, man. Those were the thing in the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, anyways. I actually do want to have a purple on us. Or just to clear the fire geysers. Because, if I'm not mistaken, there are the hermitites on this level, and I do want our. Uh, Reds to have a mental breakdown over it. Let's see if I can trigger them or if I can find where they're at. Right, they weren't in there. I don't want them to pop out because they do. They're tremendously large amounts of annoying. Yep, here they are. That is the Hermitites. They're very simple to kill. Uh, all you need is the purple Pikmin slam in order to kill them. No, no we're keeping you guys. Oh yeah, there's a bull board right there. All right, here we go, purple. As you can see, they go really fast. All right, now we're going to go change and let Olimar take care of the bull orb and everything else because there's a purple Pikmin flower back there. All right, and they're going to bring that and the card back. This is the, yeah, this is the Game & Watch Dream Architect. And then the card. 
Yeah, by the way, if you didn't know, Nintendo actually used to be a card game. I mean, Nintendo actually not used to be a card game, but a uh, card company. They used to make cards. And, uh, yeah, and then eventually they got to the video game business. Yeah, the Hermitites are a very easy way to get a bunch of free, uh, uh, not only just free Pocos if you have purples on you, but uh, uh, what's the other thing called? Free something else, I can't remember. Alright. Alright, and now we get to fight the boss. Pikmin, uh, Pikmin 2 has a lot of bosses. A lot of them are very nice and unique, and I enjoy it that they have such unique bosses. And with 25 purples, the boss can be really easy. So, uh, just meet Emperor, Empress Bullblax. This is, this is apparently Emperor Bullblax's wife. I'm not gonna lie, it isn't very hot. Alright. As you see, she's very easy. The purples did that much damage to her in one round. Yeah. I'm just gonna say this now Pikmin 1 is definitely easier than Pikmin 2. I want to make that very clear. Uh, Pikmin one, Pikmin two will turn you into a Pikmin god. They will turn it. They will turn you into the Lord that created Pikmin. Well, actually, no, you won't turn into Miyamoto. Miyamoto is someone way out of your league. In my league too, but yeah, you'll turn into a freaking Pikmin god. You'll be seeing these creepy beady eyes in your sleep. How oh, bizarre this device is. Alright, yeah, this is the reason why I only went in this cave and not the other cave first. Because it has this device, and this device is probably the most useful device in any in the Pikmin game. First off, as you'll notice, Emperor's Bull Blocks is corpse only gives like 15 Pocos. And so yeah. Name Prototype Detector. This contraption seems to react when it approaches treasure. I will connect it to my radar. During the, the treasure gauge is now created. Blah blah blah. I have AIDS. And yep, that gives us the radiation meter. Not radiation, but the treasure meter. It is probably the most useful thing in the Pikmin game. Because it detects treasure. It tells you when you run out of treasure and where you're going to find the treasure at in a uh, cave. So, very useful. Anyways, going into the Awakening Wood again. Alright, anyways, okay, once you get all of these guys, now we're going to take, actually, we don't need all the purples, we're going to take back about five. So yeah, you didn't notice the way you call it in purples is, alright, I forgot. Later on in the game, the other Pikmin type that doesn't have an onion also goes in uh, the ship. So that's why I hit it twice because I forgot. All 
No. Where in the world is that nectar? Alright. Alright, we got all but one Turk and Pikmin leaked, leafed man. Anyways, yeah, any, you also notice up here, there's another gate with poison on it. Meaning that we can't go up that way either. There's only one other area we can go to, which is that cave way over there. And typically I would actually, like, you know, grab the pellets, but I don't really need them. Mm -hmm. Astounding, my metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down there? If you find trouble below, press something on the radar screen. The, ex the exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you and Louie back, Pikmin back to safety. Yeah, this is, yeah, the white flower garden shows it has flower, I mean, red, fire and poison hazards. All right. Into the darkness and the abyss of the cave we go. First thing, this time we're gonna dismiss our perp, our gang. We're gonna get the uh, twenty. Dang it, Louie, don't follow me. Louie, don't follow me. Get you wife me, but like leave me alone, bro. No homo. And the definition of no homo, bro. All right, gotta kill all the males. And once you kill all the males, you can start killing all the females too. All Yep, and here's this. By the way, if you throw any Pikmin outside of this area, they will actually die. Skippy peanut butter. The frick is Skippy peanut butter? I like dumb or something, because I don't know what Skippy peanut butter is. Skippy, Skippy peanut butter. Jeez, 20% total, uh, what is that? Total saturated fat? Dang. Yeah, sorry, still talking to a person on Discord. Yeet. Into the cave we go. Do not touch the memory card. I really want to touch the memory card, man. Oh, yeah. The P my PC has no memory card. I mean, it does, but not like a video game one. I think you guys get what I mean. You guys don't get what I mean. You guys are weird. Then again, who isn't? Ah, oh, dang it. I hate the process of trying to split up your group. All right, fiery blow hogs are back in the game. This time around, they're going to be easier to deal with because they have the power of the purple Pikmin. 
Purple power, motherfucker. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's literally hanging off. Okay, okay. He was literally hanging off the edge. 150 Pikmin. Oh, yep. Is that a coat? Dr. Pepper. The drought ender. Is that diamond's going to go back? Almost stop the emulation. All right, down to the next cave. Oh, I want to kind of touch memory card A. Eh? I don't know if uh, if I should or not. What do you guys think? Should I touch memory card A? Not a memory card B, just memory card A. Uh, anyways, we can bring all of our Pikmin down here. There's no enemies on this floor. There's just white flowers. How can a flower go so deep underground, bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a hothouse? All right, and then we discover the new type. All right, back again. All right, an entirely new type of Pikmin. I just realized it has webbed hands. Yeah, and anyways, meet the white Pikmin. They are not only poison immune, but they're the fastest type of Pikmin. Uh, I think they might be the weakest type, though, when, like, fighting. But they also dig. <laughs> Look at all the Pikmin just looking at it, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah, for some reason, Whites are able to find objects underground. As you can see, it's going a little bit faster than normal with like purples and reds. That's because whites are faster. As a matter of fact, ah, dang it, we didn't get it fast enough. Oh, all right, all right, that dropped one nectar. If I run the whites through the nectar, they're gonna turn much. They're gonna turn into flowered. Flowered are extremely fast. In fact, there's a speed upgrade in this game that makes even flowered Pikmin slow compared to you. And whites are the only ones that can catch up to you. Flowered whites, that is. Yeah, their speed is very nice. I use my magic. Poop, 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 White flower garden, so level four. So we're going to use these guys to take out the these. Now once we finish taking those down, start bringing our Pikmin in. What? All right, also there's a type of enemy in here somewhere. Where is he? I don't know where it's at. You can kind of hear it, I guess. But yeah, I don't know where it's at. Here's we're going to take these guys up here.
Hold up, I just gotta do something real quick, guys. Alright, I'm doing that first, and then... Bringing the rest of these guys up here. Right, that's going to drive back. I'm going to go be checking Discord at the time. the final floor. Now what we want to do is we want to get only red, only reds. We want to take them all the way over here. Because the boss is none other than the burrowing snag red. Hey, that was just mean. Where the frick did he even see that guy at? He had plenty of red, so I'm not afraid to uh, go a little bit loosey loosey. Right, we just got to swarm the bottom, and there we go. It gives us the most useless upgrade in the game. All right, and there we go. Burrowing snaggerets are, well, this time, as you can tell, burrowing snaggerets actually drop their heads instead of just turning into a bunch of pellets. As we're gonna wait for that thing to get back.
Yeah, all right. Anyways, this is, uh, let's just create the knapsack. And it just says, just just take a nap. Just take a nap. Want to take a nap? You can go take a nap. All right. With that, we've almost paid off 20% of the debt. Yeah, all right. Anyways, as you can see, we have whites and we have purples. The thing we're going to do real quick is, uh, you know, obviously, first we're going to pull out some reds. And then we're going to dismiss everyone. And we're just going to have, like, Louie take fifth, take about 30 reds. Yeah, this is a good amount. And we're just going to have him go through the White Flower Garden dungeon again because, uh, this way we can get 30 whites, but, hold up, where's the pause button? Dang it, where's the pause button? Uh, hold up a second, people, let me just go find the pause button.